$670 billion. That's the kind of business the global non-alcoholic ready-to-drink beverage industry does every year. The largest player in that business is the Coca-Cola Company, with a massive worldwide presence. We operate in over 206 countries. That's more countries than the UN. The company's best-selling beverage is original trademark Coca-Cola. The planet consumes nearly 800 million servings a day. Coke says the product reaches 99% of mankind. Despite its worldwide presence, the company itself makes primarily one thing, the highly condensed beginnings of the drink known as beverage concentrate. But Coke won't say exactly where they make the concentrate, nor will they allow the modern day filming of its manufacturing processes. The formula for Coca-Cola may be the most closely guarded secret in the history of American commerce. The ingredients are listed, but there's one that's purposely vague, natural flavors. Those are things which have come from nature, from many different sources of plants, or vegetables or things like that. That's actually the most closely guarded trade secret in the world, so we don't actually say what they are. Coke ships its secret concentrate to over 900 bottling plants all over the world, most of them independently owned. One of the newest bottling plants is the Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company in Louisiana. Coke has been bottled in Baton Rouge since 1906, but this facility began production in 2009. The factory works 24 hours a day, five days a week. It can make and package 4.5 million servings a day. The bottler's first job is to transform the concentrate into a finished soft drink by diluting it with water, then adding sweetener and carbonation. These two tubs of concentrate will make over 135,000 gallons of Coca-Cola. The people who handle the concentrate are as in the dark about the secret formula as anyone. I've been working 11 years now. I don't know what's in the formula. All my job is to load it up and send it to the line and let them run it. The Coke they make has to taste the same as Coke made by other bottlers around the world. It's a challenge because the bottlers provide Coca-Cola's main ingredient, water. The drink is about 90% water. Water can taste different depending on the source. This plant gets its water from on-site wells. In the plant, they sanitize the water and put it through a nano-filtration process. The, the objective of the treatment process is to make the water as neutral as possible, to make sure that there's no taste and odor carryover from our source. The Coca-Cola company also counts on its bottlers to add Coke's second main ingredient, the sweetener. In most of the world, the sweetener is sugar, but in the United States, it's high fructose corn syrup. Coke says they use the sweetener because it's more readily available in the U.S. market. U.S. corn subsidies and tariffs on imported sugar have also made high fructose corn syrup cheaper than sugar. They pump the sweetener, concentrate, and water into a 5,000-gallon tank to create a syrup that's more than 50% sweetener. Out on the bottling line, they dilute that syrup five and a half more times with water, then pump in CO2 through a closed system to carbonate the beverage. Now it's trademark Coca-Cola, but the plant has to prove it by testing the first bottles. In order to be a bottler for the Coca-Cola company, you have to follow the company's rules and regulations. And if they don't, they can actually lose their license. The CO2 will appear down here. Two of the tests are for CO2 levels and sweetness, which is measured in a unit called bricks. The finished Coca-Cola beverage is about 10% sweetener. This batch passes the test. Billy, come in. Line two can run. 